Hi people, my name is Wayne Hackman and for a number of years I've lived on the island of Bermuda. I'm sitting outside in my porch awaiting for the arrival of Hurricane Gonzalo. I think that's how you say it, forgive me if that's wrong. This one is rum rumoured to be a Category 3, possibly with Category 4 gusts. What that means I don't know, I've, uh, um, but I know that it's going to get windy and I know that it's likely that we're going to lose power and I know that, um, that there's going to be some damage. Um, I feel pretty safe and secure. We spent pretty much the last three days preparing, getting fuel, generators, electricity, food, making sure that we've got water. So I'm pretty confident that we're going to be okay. So this is my short documentary about what it's like to go through a hurricane. So, here we go. So it's just gone midday on the 17th of October. As you can see from the satellite um, radar, whatever you want to call it, it's getting closer. Let's just go outside and have a little look. So it's starting to get a little bit windier. Not horrendously bad. I mean, I think... Uh, just had someone visit us and um, they said basically just take in the beauty of Bermuda because all of this is going to be very different which is quite sad really okay people so it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now uh, the storm is due to hit in the next six hours or so well the, the eye of the storm you can see the wind is whipping up. Um, nothing that I would call considerably bad, but um, it certainly is an increase on what we had this morning. Um, now, we, we're reading that apparently it's not decreased from a Category 4 yet, which is a little alarming because there hasn't been a Category 4 hit the island for quite some time, at least um, not until 1940 sometime. So anyway, I'll keep um, up to date. Um, the rain has begun. Um, so the winds are starting to pick up. If we have a look outside. You can see it's raining out there. Still got electricity. It's about 10 past 4 in the afternoon. The storm is really meant to hit us in the next couple of hours. So, um, all being well, the wind seems to be coming from the south, which is good for us. Because uh, we're sort of nicely down in a little hill. But um, as you can see, the rain is coming. And so is the storm. Whoa! Okay, the wind just picked up a bit there. Okay, so it's about half past four. The winds have picked up, you can really hear them now. Yeah, we've got some big, big winds coming in now. Slightly alarmed, as you can see the power lines rocking. Actually, the physical poles rocking in the wind. That's slightly alarming. It does look like it's coming directly at us, which is kind of exciting and frightening. You can see the winds have really picked up now. Um, um, it's coming from behind us, which is a so uh, it's an it's coming from an easterly direction now. Um, so it's um, yeah, interesting time. We still have power. We still have internet, which is great because that's keeping us entertained. You can watch television and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I'm going to do my next update in about an hour and a half, where that eye will hopefully well not hopefully the eye will be a bit closer to us. Um, I really would like to film inside a hurricane. I to see if it really does go calm. That's apparently what everyone says.
Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's about quarter to seven. The wind is really starting to get up now. It's lashing down the road. Praise God we still have power, but I don't know for how much longer. We've had a few flickers. You can really see it lashing the into the water pouring down the side there. Everything is waterlogged. Wind is really getting up now. And it's sustained winds as well, which is a bit worrying. I thought, I would have thought we would have lost power by now, but we haven't, which is good news. But I'm just looking at some of the news uh, websites. That 22,000 people, or 22,000 homes, are up without electricity at the moment. There is approximately 36,000 customers, which is cra um, crazy to think that, that over two thirds of the island is without electricity and the storm hasn't even got to us yet. Well, it has, but the eye, um, we're, we're nowhere near the eye. I'm, I'm just looking at the imagery now. Um, you can see this is the latest Doppler radar image. Um, you can see the cross there is us. You can really see the wall coming in. This is the lashing. So the wind is coming in from the southeasterly direction. You're coming across there. Well, that's pretty crazy. One of the things that we've been instructed to do when a storm comes in is to open windows on the leeward side of the storm. This is to do with pressure buildup within the home. Um, apparently, people have left the windows closed and there's been damage within the house, windows and doors and even roofs have been blown out. So, we've got our window open. It's just gone 8 o'clock. And I think within the next hour we're going to actually hit the eye of the storm. If you have a look at the... You see, it's getting closer. Let's go out and have a little look. See what's going on out there. It's still... Category 3 storm. So amazingly, we're in the eye of the storm. It's just about nine o'clock in the evening. Um, as you may see a bit later, I did take some video footage outside. It's calmed down considerably. There's a light breeze out there, not a lot going on. Um, you wouldn't have thought that, uh, that we're in the middle of a hurricane. So it is true, as soon as the eye hits, everything goes still. Um, as you can see, the, the hurricane track is there. Um, we still have power, we still have Elect um, we still have internet. I don't know about the phone line. I've not checked the phone line yet. So We're halfway through all being well We will survive the next half um, Intact Everything's gone quiet. We're in the eye of the storm. It's crazy. It's eerily crazy actually Everything is so quiet. I know it's pitch black out there, but we still have electricity But it's true what they say the eye of the storm is nice and quiet. You can see the wind map of the Atlantic and about where the mouse is, is Bermuda. So the wind seems to be coming back in the opposite direction. Um, so Bermuda is now coming through about here. So we've got all of this extra wind coming. So yeah, so we passed the storm. It took about an hour to pass, which is amazing. Let's just go outside and have a quick look before it gets too dangerous again. You can hear the wind getting up. 
Um, well, we're in the second side of the storm now, we've gone through the eye. Um, I'm going to go to bed. Um, we still have power. We still seem to be fairly secure. Um, so it's just going to be intriguing to wake up and see what the damage is tomorrow, if at all there is much. Sorry about the spooky lighting, but it's about 10 to midnight. Um, I went to bed for a bit. Um, the wind has changed direction now and um, we've lost power. Power went out, it must have been about 10 minutes ago. Saw one of the um, transformer boxes uh, break down. Um, the wind's coming towards us on this side of the house. We were quite protected on the other side of the house. Now we're not, we're on the exposed side of the house. So you can hear the house out there taking a bit of a beating. I'm going to try and go back to bed, but I'm guessing this is going to lash us for a fair bit tonight. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm a bit anxious, but I'm okay. Um, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get lashed all night and go out and look at the damage tomorrow. You can hear the wind just... Yeah, it's, it's pretty scary. Anyway. So, yeah, I can't show you what's going on outside because it's pitch black out there and the camera won't pick it up. Hence why I'm looking at you at torchlight now. Right. Morning, everybody. So we survived Gonzalo. It's uh, about 7.30 in the morning. The worst of it came through about three o'clock. We've lost power. Morning, mate. People are driving around. Got a power one at the pole over there. Look. See the pole over there. You see the, the wire that's come away. So that means it's a localised fault. We're not going to have electricity for a while. Ironically, that's where the power went the other day as well. Survived the storm. It's three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this tree. <laughs> All its leaves have been stripped. That's crazy. Wow. Look at our hedge. Our hedge has been absolutely decimated. <laughs> to be honest, if that's the uh, last of our. Emergency power has been restored. You can see. Emergency power, we have fridge. Chocolate, wine. Chocolate, Beer. wine, Karen sorted. Charlotte's happy, got electricity. Show the hello Charlotte. Say how did you find the storm? What did you think of the storm? <coughs> it was a bit scary, wasn't it? Uh, I think you and Charlotte both sleep. Yeah, we did sleep a lot, didn't we? But emergency power has been restored. So amazingly we survived, a little walk around the house, I'm going to go for uh, a better look later to see what else we could see out there, but we, we did alright, we fared okay. Survived. Look, she survived. Survived. Full of water, look at that. Wow. 
look at all that water. That's a heavy boat and that flipped. Look at that. That's unbelievable. That's a good little boat as well. Flipped over, unbelievable. Good tops. Ah, our little rib boat survived. <laughs> Yeah! Wow. Look at that. It's pretty much 12 hours since Gonzalo hit. Very thankful. Got a little fire going in the background. All our neighbours seem to have electricity except for us. But, um, that's... I think a lot to be thankful for.